Okay, hey everybody, it's me, DIY guy, Tony Sandoval. I'm going to try to get back into doing a little bit of the video thing again. Uh, got a little bit better, different, I should say different setup, not necessarily better. A little different setup. Uh, I want to start the first one off though by doing a mini review uh, of, of course, a works product. Uh, WO. RX works battery cordless uh, powered tools. I like them. I've invested in them. Uh, <clears throat> not really a fanboy of any brand. If I was going to be, you know, uh, I don't know. There's a few that I'm partial to, but I'm not, you know, oh, that's got to be the only one, or oh, that can't do no wrong. I don't get that far deep into it. But I like works. I've come to depend on it. I found most of theirs pretty dependable for the most part. Uh, and I, I got a hold of a new one. Uh, it's a screwdriver. It's a powered screwdriver. Uh, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's like 40 bucks. And I'm like, 40 bucks for an electric screwdriver? Are you kidding me? But, you know, I have a need for it in my driver's tool bag, tool pouch. Uh, I'm putting that together. Maybe I'll show you guys one day. Catch me on MeWe. Uh, you'll see it there. I'll be talking about it on MeWe. But the works, the works uh, electric screwdriver. And I was like, why on earth would somebody want an electric screwdriver? And then it occurred to me after I have been at work, you know, uh, I'm a delivery driver, it's my day job. So I, I work with a lot of stuff. I deliver stuff from, off of a truck. I drive a truck and I deliver things. I deliver mostly plumbing and items and whatnot. But I deal with a lot of different things, having to secure things in, uh, get things out. So I thought, well, what? Why? I'm trying to realize, rationalize, what's the point? What is the point of an electric screwdriver? An electric screwdriver, the works, electric screwdriver. An electric screwdriver really, for me, is all about carpal tunnel. You don't want to get carpal tunnel, and if you work with dealing with enough screws in something, uh, your wrist gets tired, you know. Um, you don't want to have to use a regular screwdriver and twist and twist and twist and twist. And I mean, when you're talking one or two screws, that's one thing. When you're talking 15, 20 more screws that you've got to deal, you're doing an install of something or you're trying to fasten something somewhere, unfasten, disconnect, reconnect. You don't want to be doing like super amount of number, you know, tons of screws and just constantly with the wrist. That's how you get carpal tunnel. Okay, and it hurts. So, an electric screwdriver can help you with the repetitiveness of that. It can reduce, well, it eliminates you having to do that at all. You really all you just point and shoot. Um, now this is a pretty neat one. I like this. I like this one because it, it's it's got a good feel to it. I got I I really you know even though I've come to start to really expect some, I've learned to expect to be surprised. I always have a very low expectation of a tool for, from anybody. I mean, one of my favorite brands ever was Craftsman, and Craftsman practically broke my heart when they just went downhill and crappy materials because they went with different manufacturer it just broke my heart and I learned basically never it's so hard for me to trust a tool brand anymore I don't trust them at all I don't give them the benefit of the doubt I see it I believe it when I see it you know what I'm saying but okay works has been surprising me now I've learned to be surprised I'm not surprised when I'm surprised because well it should, I'm, I'm hoping it comes out good, that it comes, like another one that I've seen or whatever, but I don't count on it. And this thing here, it's, it's, it's little, um, but it's metal. This is a metal body. It's got rubber grips all over it. Uh, I mean, th it's all metal. This, 
this part, this part, all, all of the end here, the body here, um, even this back is rubber over, I believe, metal. It's what it seems to be. So, I mean, really, it, it's, it's got a good weight. It feels solid. It feels sturdy. Nothing rattles. Nothing, you know, uh, it, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like shoddy stuff, okay? Um... The feel of it is feel. It actually feels balanced, really. Um, this came. This came with the little box I showed you, and inside the box, I'm gonna show you. I'll put this back just so I can show you what it looked like when it arrived. And I mean, it's a little messy because I never put anything exactly the right way. But so here's how it arrived. Okay, and you get some bits, different. Type you get your Torx bits and your standard Phillips and your slotted. Um, you got a bit holder here. Uh, you got a Phillips tip, a really standard Phillips bit here. Uh, right there. Okay, you got the, the screwdriver. Up here is the cord, power cord. Uh, I added, because I, I just, to me, it's got to be part of any... It, it, it's a nut bit, nut drivers, uh, and they do more, and I'm going to get to this in just a second here, but bit, nut, nut drivers, really, you need them. you got to have them with any screwdriver set, with any drill screwdriving set, drill bit set. You really should have those. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's nice because you take these out. Here's the... Uh, Here's the, the the Phillips head. Okay, it's a nice solid. It's sturdy. Pop. This is magnetic. Okay, so it's it's a hex fitting inside. It's not locked in, but it just slides, pops in, and it's magnetic. I mean, you can feel that pull right in there. It, it, it feels like it's connected. You know. Now, so you got a forward right here. You got the reverse right here. You'll see down here a little button, and there's level lights, and that's your torque control. You got three different uh, levels of torque you can adjust. So you got a low torque. So when you're dealing with you know very small light stuff, and you don't need it over tightened, it, it'll it'll stop. Uh, you got you know level two, which is more torque, and level three, which is the most torque. Okay. And all you gotta do is press this little button. I don't know my big old fingers here. Maybe you can see it. See. Now there's two. And then there's. Now there's all three. Okay. So there's three, and now I'm on the most torque. That one, okay, that gives you the most. Now, I've used this a little bit. I'm not going to sit here and, and run this for you in terms of trying to do tons of different screws. There's, you want to see that. There's other videos out there that do that, okay? Uh, and I don't, some of them are okay. Most of them are okay, I guess. So one thing I do have a, 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 a an issue with is I'm watching these people that are using this particular electric drill, cordless drill, and they're using it to drive screws into, you know, two by fours and whatnot. They're, they're running, you know, a three and four inch screw into draw in, into a board, pine board usually. And they're driving it in, and, you know, and it's like no pre-drill, no nothing. But that's not what these are made for. If you want to do, if you want to drill a screw into... A, uh, a board, you use a drill. You need that much more torque. This can do it sort of slowly, but that's not what it's made for. And that's not what you want to do with it. Okay? I, I don't like that because I think that's just kind of like, well, what? So what? Who's really using a screwdriver to do that? If you're using a screwdriver to do that, I think you're a moron. That's really what I think. Use these for. I would never use this on anything that's not pre-drilled. It's got pre-drilled holes. So you're putting screws into a pre-drilled. So you're talking metal. You're talking um, 
plastic. You're talking uh, wood, pre-drilled holes into wood. Um, and he, you know, I mean, just pre-drilled. These are not made for drilling raw into a material without a pre-drill. I mean, it's not the point. It's not the purpose. This is a constant, you know, regular, you know, repeated use of something. For that okay? kind of use. Yeah. So you get the idea of the, the way it's level. not meant If it can drive a four-inch screw into a two-by-four, you know, uh, well, it's got the power to do that. Okay, that's great. But that's beside the point. Okay. Also, something they don't tell you when they show you doing those things is this thing's got a little bit of a kick. So you get to drive it, and you, so you push the button, and you're going forward. It's got the little lights up front like that. It's pretty nice. I like that. It actually illuminates where you're, you know, you hit. So like if you're in a doorway and you're putting screws into the side trim, you know, you're putting the weather trim up there or something like that. That's got a purpose. You know, you got 15, 20 different screws going up the strip of metal you're attaching to the wall. And especially if you're using, now, I, I, I take that, I want to amend that. Besides pre-drilled holes, self-tapping screws. Okay. Self-tapping screws, this is great with, and now you're talking about, you know, the little quarter-inch, half-inch screws that you're putting in, and you're putting in with a little trim or something, three-quarter, maybe up to an inch. But again, self-tapping. Don't make it work harder, unnecessarily hard. That's not the point. That's not why you get these, okay? And, and it's nice. It, it, it really is. You're going in... Got a good sound, whirring sound. You feel that motor though. I mean, you really feel it in your hand. You turn that puppy on and you can feel it turning. Reverse. Okay. And when you get to hitting this hitting it and it's achieved what it's gonna do, okay, it'll twist on you. It, it you feel it, it jars your, you know, um, it's applying that much torque in some cases to where you really get that jolt back. So be prepared. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of the anti, you know, uh, twisting kind of systems that some drills get going on. Also, you charge this directly. This has a, uh, a charge USB-C, USB-C port, C type port so I mean you don't even have to use the one they send you you could use anyone as long as it's a C type okay um, it plugs right into there and it does not take long to charge these things and apparently it takes much longer they last in terms of being able to drill stuff or screw stuff in you can do a lot with this before it runs down and you need to charge it I mean and it does not take long to charge it really doesn't so that's a nice feature there I really like that you know, that I could go and go and go, you know, screwing things in. I was looking for stuff just to practice this, test it out. And, and, um, I mean, it took a while before I had to recharge it. Um, and then, like I said, when I recharged it, I, I swear, if it took 20 minutes, I don't think it took that long. It was fully recharged. So, it's really good on you know how it uses battery power it's really good on charging up quickly uh, any like I said any USB port you know you plug it into your regular outlet that you normally charge your phones and everything else on uh, and, and it's really nice that way uh, besides the Phillips bit you get uh, in, in the box uh, which is nice because you run into these size Phillips head bits that's your, probably your most common Okay, your most common bit. But just for example, for the sake of discussion, you're not going to use that. Now me, if I'm not using a Phillips bit, I'm going to use a Torx bit. So you run this adapter, you know, that pops it in. And you get these little, uh, little, little teeny bits. Okay, now this is, this is a T20. When you go to the store, you find bits, Torx bits, T-O-R-X, like works, but with a T. And he's been around for a long time. And they're the star-shaped kind of, okay? Um, but this is a T20. It's fairly common. T15s, T10s, T20s, probably your most common ones. Um, it pops right in. 
boom. And again, that's magnetic. So it's going to, I mean, it's not falling out, okay? And there you go. Now, and you'll find more and more Torx head in not just deck screws or cabinet screws. You're finding the Torx bit, you know, Torx heads in, in more and more different kinds of screws. Because it's a very secure attachment. You know, when you're screwing, you do not, Torx are really, are known. They're made so that they don't strip out your screws, heads, you know, stuff like that. Um, so... For me, it's either Phillips, 95, 98% of the time, it's Phillips or Torx for me. So it's it's nice that they give you this. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest, slotted, your standard slotted bits, I don't, I don't, I don't use, really. If I use a slotted bit anymore, two reasons. It's to deal with really old, you know, around the house and you're undoing or you're trying to repair some electrical or something like that. And back then it was really common. You're dealing with one of those or modern times nowadays. You're getting this. Okay, it's slotted inside of a hex head. All right. This is where your hex bits come in handy okay so you pop that out you pop the hex bit in don't don't mess with this do not mess with this slotted screwdriver opening here it's, it's pointless you're gonna strip it you're gonna keep skipping out on it because slotted sucks whoever loves slotted I'm sorry I can't agree with you but boy you get look at that perfect fit, perfect drive, you're not skipping out on that. It's not going to slide in and out while you're trying to attack. No, you lock onto it and you turn. This, and I have these all over. These are your metal screws in a lot of cases. So when you're trying to deal with something around maybe a furnace, things like that, you're trying to take the, kit, the you know cover off, something like that, these are the kind of screws you're going to get. This is what you use, okay? Use the nut driver bit for that. Your life is going to be so much more improved. And, of course, it fits perfectly on here, in, on and off. And, my gosh, life gets so much better when you use these, okay? And they got different sizes. I threw three different sizes in there, you know. Um, it, it, it's, you know, this is a, what is this one? Ooh. Can't even read that. Look at that. That's a 3.8, okay? Uh, quarter inch. Um, and even a 1 eighth, I think. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a quarter inch. And then I got another one mid size in there. Anyway, the point being, don't mess with slotted bits. They're, they're, there's no point in it. I'm glad they included it because they're fairly still common. Like I said, especially when you're running around, you find this kind of crap running around a house. You've got a old electrical stuff being held together with that crap. Uh, there's no point in it, though. There really ain't. You, you, you know, if you can avoid dealing with the slotted, better to use, like I said, the, the hex than a driver or something like that, you know. It's, it's nice that way. I've used this around. I've only had this a couple of days. But I've played with it on all kinds of stuff. Uh, the torque adjustment really does do well. Um, when you set it to the lowest, it, it'll stop it pretty soon. It doesn't take a whole lot of tension, you know, to stop it. And that's nice. So if you're afraid of overdriving something... Uh, having that lowest setting really does help because there's a lot of times you're dealing with things you know that are pretty thin thin wood thin 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 plastic and you don't want to crack especially when you're dealing with plastic I'll, i've done a lot of stuff where i'll attach you know a sheet of plastic pre-drill the holes and then you're putting it you know as a window cover like beehives i do it with beehives i build beehives and you put a, a viewing window on it you put a plastic on it pre-drill pre the holes and then you drive 
the screw to hold it in there and it cracks the plastic because you overdrove it. It went too too far too too much in, too much power. And then you crack the whole area there, especially if you're too close to the edge. Okay. The torque adjustment allows you not to use this to overpower that. And that's a nice feature. I really like that. Because then you turn around and you put it on, you know, torque two, torque three, level three. And you can put, you know, that screw that's got to get into the, you know, whatever. It's a difficult, you know, once it needs more power into it. This does really well. So, the works cordless electric screwdriver. It does have a purpose. There is a point in getting one. Especially if you do a lot of fix-it stuff around a house. Are you a handyman and you're dealing with all kinds of different things? Especially if you deal, again, metal uh, um, plastic, uh, your fastening, you know, assembly is a huge, assembling TV stands, you know, all the stuff like that you're putting screws in, right here, man, I'm telling you, you get into the small spots, because then you're trying to use a drill with drill bits, and the drill is just too darn big, right, use this, this is awesome, and you got, like I said, a thousand screws. You're trying to put everything, you know, five on this side, ten on this side, over here, 20. You know, by the time you're done, you've put like a thousand screws in. And your wrist is killing you, and you can't reach, and you got the drill. This thing here, I'm telling you right now, I think so far at this point, just playing around and doing the little things I have, I've already decided it's worth the 40 bucks. I will find out more for longevity. I mean, like I said, I've had this a couple of days. After I've had this about... A year, and we'll see if this is still alive. Hopefully, I'll still be doing stuff like this. I'll be doing more, maybe, and we'll see just exactly how good, you know, how durable, how tough. Because I am not known for going easy on my tools. I expect my tools to work. I expect my tools to be durable, and and they better work. They they better hold up to what they got to do. Otherwise, that's not money I'm spending again on that. Okay. Back back in the day, way back in the day, craftsmen spoiled me. And I hold a lot of things up to that standard. I expect it to work, and I expect it to last. So far, so far, my work stuff is doing that. So, welcome back. Hello again. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing more of these little short videos or somewhat longish videos now, I guess. I've been here a while talking with you. But we're going to do more. We're going to talk about tools. We're going to talk about techniques and methods of stuff. And we'll just chat about DIY, getting things done, making things happen, and all the stuff that has to do with it. I've got a plumbing one coming up, plumbing and pecs. I, I want you to come and look, keep an eye out for the plumbing and PEX one because it'll be worth it. I've really got some opinions and thoughts that I want to share with you about plumbing and PEX. All right? All right, folks. DIY guy, Tony. And may all your projects come out better than you hoped. All right. Later.